Hello, hello. In lau dam ve kem ka video ma sa in lau ento ang kanin so kote kan ay kama kan swag dona architecture cruise kan tinoy tu nay mong hian tiang ngay hian kan swag don ni so so anin trong kam tika tiam lau wang in video po ni nang ang in karon damay dona so an longa kanin kalo mutunas eh may matan so kachiano tay na trong kanin dark dark hat kal kanya kain city ya so anin abisi eh may wang hian kain ang kal na sa kay kalo kal hat to lau thaw ve to nay hang kahay eh may ma Min lau sya tiyam ula duang po in video po ron mo nom lau mo i tema si tiyar daan tok te in lau sya tiyam do na min sya chao ang in chong kam hikat ni lau ve em ema so an in mun sang sang kan fan nate po next video ka ron da zi la nga lau en zel ula lau enjoy em em rau o vo in natan so an in the bean vel le em i architecture kan cruise kan vakal vel na kang ka ka ron tilang do niya Okay, kan next scene tu tu kan ready tu ah he, kan suap dona, nazo, you ready? Kan city vel kan hantur don ni he, kan kal don ni he. Bye kill, bye bye. Hey, kan team, team la nazo ah. We use this elevator. Ah, yeah, we can. No, but then it will take us to the out. Yeah. To the car. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Taste it. Is that the cherry one? Yeah. I don't like the smell of cherry. Come. Mm, too heavy. Too yummy. Mm. Cherry sauce. Mm. Huh? เนี่ยเนี่ย Wow. It's beautiful how the water. Okay. Tahian mi ten kalah itu tahian le kabu ten siar tren tu in date nanti pun mang ven yang hian relax sa kan kini tu kan engkau ni oh there in the corner you see that the corner the water pull out from the mouth we should go there. Atsuat po hi magtop. Wow. Moy luto. Ghost hunting natan ito. Mukop me. Wow. Woo! So beautiful. Right? Ang kangele, oh, hindi tayo ang chair tour, oh, mang. Eh, eh, in love tour, hindi. What was the reason, though? Is this for display?
Yeah. And now the long top, very nice. I think on top. You almost hit it. Naked woman. Hey, con can boy, how to cop me? No, I'm not even here. I'm cop me. Can't wait to go away. I'm not even here. I'm not even here. I'm not even here. อันตุยคาร์โฮตามิซองซุกไฮเอนจอยเอ้ยเมมจุฮึมเฮ้ยเงี้ยเฮียนี่เอ้ยกะลาบดูจุกะกะลิชันว้าวเอ็ดฮิ
Wow, that building is huge. Okay, time bar. Then low there. And that side. Look at that building. It's so big. That's one of our first non-native residents to go walk around all day. His name? Jean-Baptiste Pointe-Dussault. He's actually... In Tinge Tuihi in the unboxia asira te po in love the mate he ke po kha ka ka vakal masak per khan makatia ma se mi fan tu le he a khwa ti nuam tu sim sim khan tui khan lo da chok mai mai lo ni chai he tianga valek tak tak ang lui ang tak tak kha ni lo an soi dan chuan in ti khan an siam chopa tu yan da chopan ti em pam chopan ti chon in te chu lo om sa to ta kha tianga tui le tui ka ra in om phon chong lo he an downtown lai ta kan ya chon kan clear ze la nga kei po kan tur ga khe na soi chop ze la wang khan in le dan to po sha lo chon han let le tur po han ka thua khe na pha to lo ni chu building hi tam lo to ka kan fang na sal to video po ka cover fek lo zo ka lo clear ze phot mai ro o ka sha tang ang chu ka lo soi ve top top ani mai of course chicago st louis memphis and new orleans and that's really where chicago got its humble beginnings as the construction of this river attracted thousands of german italian and irish immigrants but uh y'all remember a few moments ago i mentioned something about a classroom of chicago's architecture well folks consider that bridge ahead to be the official entrance to said classroom now, I'm going to make it my duty to point out several awesome photo opportunities throughout this okay. journey. That's well, cool. ladies and gentlemen, your first great photo lies just past this bridge. As we embark down the main branch of the Chicago River and uncover the heart of downtown Chicago. And this structure that appears to be three whimsical hourglasses, five and turquoise glass reflect the sky, but also project, the, project those triangular shadows against one another for what is called St. Regis Tower, completed in 2020. This is Chicago's third tallest building today. It tops out at just under 1,200 feet. In fact, the St. Regis Hotel finally opened up about two months ago with some pretty luxurious condos to the top. In fact, while you look towards the top, you probably notice that gap. That gap is intentional. It's a structural design called a blow-through floor. You know, the higher you build, the more the factor wind becomes. Well, that skinny can pass through it so that it's able to maintain support. Pretty impressive. Only blow-through floor in Chicago. However, it's not a part of the original. It's the worst design. Uh, million. 22 million in Suar and then you took a live in Pakate. The shiny blue glass reflects the context in which it exists, but that site-specific design has conversations with the other building. Yang is a genius, and I don't just say that because I appreciate her work. She's a part of the MacArthur Fellowship. They work with MacArthur Grant literally certifies one as a genius. And this building, Aqua Tower, is a However, you know that you truly enter downtown Chicago. When you look ahead to the right at this elegant white structure with a clock on it called the Ridley Building. That bar was voted as the second most popular one in America. When first opened up in the which one, which one? it was called the London Area yeah. Suite. A thing this one? As in Club, hey, rooftop bar Called Fort Dearborn. It was actually attacked by the British during the War of 1812. There's actually a plaque to commemorate it right there. But it's also a nice segue in a little Chicago flag I brought with me. Very popular here in Chicago. It's four red stars, each represent four important moments in Chicago's history. First red star, Fort Dearborn. Second red star, Great Chicago Fire. Third and fourth red stars, 1893-1933 World's Fairs, both respectively held here in Chicago. The three and jump buildings, North, West, and South. 
Well, the two blue stripes represent our major bodies of water. Lake Michigan to the east, Chicago River right here. Now, as I mentioned, passing Michigan Avenue, lots of European-inspired architecture from the early 20th century. And Chicago is still searching for its own identity, so it borrowed from countries like France and Spain. Well, let's stick with that European theme one last time when we check out that absolutely decadent structure out in the distance here on the left. It's tan. Kind of looks like a wedding cake with a box, a rectangle, a dome atop of it. It's called the Jewelers Building. Designed in the 1920s house. Jewelers Building. Hence the name. Like cake, I'm but I know what you think. We're in Chicago. This building's from the 20s. I'm a tour guide. It's kind of my civic duty to tell you guys at least one alcohol story. So I got you. Main if you speakeasies, these undercover bars and lounges popping up throughout your body's on today's tour. Well folks, photographers specifically, get your cameras ready, because here to the right, these two tan iconic towers introduce themselves to us, known as Marina City. Marina City. Or as uh, Chicago is endearing, we refer to them as the corn cap towers, for obvious reasons. But more important than the unique design is the purpose. You see, these were built as affordable condos I mean, in the 1960s. The thing is, during the 60s, nobody wanted to live there. Alam, he parking. Ito pa nila alam, he in. A chan ki in, a chan ki parking. Well, that bothered architect Bertrand Goldberg who designed them. When he designed Marina City, he was conducting a social experiment. And in this experiment, he wanted to find out what would it take for one to move back to downtown Chicago. Okay, so when he built a city, he gave us this car park in the city. He a city like, within the city. Like All the infrastructure you need in one building. In the 1960s, you could dock a boat, get a bite to eat, park your car. In fact, there was a bowling alley, shopping mall, offices, even an ice rink. All oh, look at that, Westin Hotel. Perfect for introverts. It was also very successful as it once again attracted thousands of people to live in downtown Chicago. However, you might take a look around on this sizzling Friday afternoon and say, what? Just a few decades ago, no one wanted to live around here? I'd argue, sociologists like Bertrand Goldberg we wouldn't see all these shiny buildings along the river that we get to check out today. This next building is not shiny, but it's a classic with red brick and a clock on it, called the Reed Murdoch Building, completed in 1914. Now look at it. It looks to be perfectly even or symmetrical, right? Take a closer look, you'll notice it's actually not. Using that clock near the middle as a reference, you may be able to count one, two, three, four, five, six bay windows on the right side while well, only five on the left. What's with that? Humans, we love symmetry. Well, this was perfectly even. Until the city of Chicago just, you know, cut a slab of it off. While widening that LaSalle Street Bridge ahead in the 1920s goes to show architects gotta be reflective and adapted to our ever-changing environments. Today, they host lots of events. We saw a wedding here last weekend, a couple restaurants. But look above the clock. You'll notice it reads Britannica. That's right. The Encyclopedia Britannica's headquarters of house design. Except this is kind of sad. The students look around like... Encyclo what? Encyclopedia. It features this tripartite design, which basically is this hunkered down gray base, a elongated red brick middle with a decorated roof, kind of like a roaming column. As it turns out, that idea of a column is the basic inspiration behind the design of the world's first skyscraper right here in Chicago. Now, we're going to have an incredible photo opportunity here to the right because of this amazing angle of the massive merchandise mart completed in 1930. Folks, this is a great example of a popular style during the roaring 1920s we're going to see a lot of today called Art Deco, which you can see some characteristics of right now. Starting with the dark inset windows, 
makes it look like it's wearing a pinstripe suit from the 20s. Winters, detailed ornamentation, all classic characteristics of our deco, but most impressively, I'm sure we'll get another shot of it. And speaking of economic prosperity, I-shaped intersection on a river called Wolf Point. But take a few moments and just absorb this Wolf Point is home to some of the most Cut out all to color monitor. So the lens on video, I'm now cover sector. So, oh, we're in the low light sector. So, okay, color monitor. So, now low tone. Oh, my see, the video they did bring it in little little a long little talk. Completed in 1898, and it originally stood as a giant freezer. In fact, you find a lot of giant freezers just like it throughout Chicago at that time. Because we were once the meat packing capital of the world. We were called the city of broad shoulders. We had to be a train to a giant freezer like Fulton House, where the meats then kept fresh and fresh. Now the story goes, workers were knocking holes in the sides of the walls to make way for the windows on this tour. You see behind these trees on the left, those funky river cottages? Those were also designed by Harry Dees. Briefly showing off his nautical personality through these river cottages he designed in 1989. They were very unique, very popular. Four units rest here, three of which are still retained by the original owners today. In fact, we now prepare to enter Chicago's River North neighborhood, which is a standpoint within the past 20 years. Ahead of us on the right is the premiere. It was a scene from a movie called Hunter. The best scene in the movie involves a car reversing off the corner of cop towers into the river. Bertrand Goldberg, and get this, it's meant to look like a giant champagne bottle. Green bubbly with the gold cork and spillage at the top, called the Carbide and Carbon Building, completed in 1929. During the height of Prohibition, so if you ever wondered how Chicago felt about Prohibition, just look at the exploding champagne bottle we built right next video home alone house michael jordan house le anga chon birthday boy te ba ti vel kanon ti lang chaw don ni chu in a clear cell don ya o kan lo me ni kilan da tu tak si ama e cha bun to e mi ma la zo let's do tasting come here dal and then the chicken curry hey indian authentic indian cuisine kan e don ni hi hey usangan bai tu tak mai christine te tan tu na ke in hi ko Kuih nambai ke tempat kau kan? Ya. Bai bing po, pengak. Bring it a plate. A very big plate from a few minutes ago. Ya. Let him taste the garlic, no? Yeah. Hot garlic. I'll cut and give you. It's like full garlic. We just keep it here. Oh. It's for flavor. My, yeah, like I said, my mother-in-law's recipe. Yeah. Yes. A nickel special too, okay? Cauliflower. This is like... It's a must Oh my god, you gotta have the all the yeah. oh, You want more green? Sour? Hey. Thank you. For, thank you for having us, oh, guys. Yeah. Oh, thank you for coming over. We are so excited to eat all the yummy food. Hey, and both are. So, the VIP cheat in cheat. Eng, ma po minti tiyo lawa nuam ganti to. So, dinikhan lawa enjoy. Now, he min duat lutok ganlo. Come on, baby. 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 Come on, baby.